Ooh, let me tell you something. This podcast is not for everybody. Good on you for stopping by to see what it's all about. Welcome to the trailer. I'm so glad you found your way here to the Interventions Podcast. This is the informational trailer for the podcast, because as I mentioned, it's not for everybody. So let's find out if it's for you. I'm your host, Hawa Bond. I'm a cybersecurity expert by day, and I'm a transformational coach by night. And let's get right to it. What is an intervention? For me, an intervention is a divine encounter with yourself. Often it's an all out confrontation. You against you sitting across the table, looking yourself in the face so you can stop getting in your own way. We tend to see issues and troubles and challenges as things that originate outside of ourselves. As humans, that is the default setting. Your husband acting up, well, he need to get it together. Uh, Your mama and them on some BS, well, they probably need to get a clue. Uh, Oh, how about your job is on your last nerve? Every boss you have is on your last nerve. Well, clearly those jobs need new management, right? Because they're just a bunch of idiots. And how about this, ladies? You can't find a decent man? Well, clearly it has to be because decent men don't exist, right? Maybe not. If any of that is true, I promise you, you can pivot your role in any calamity and control the only person who you can, and that's you. Because, see, you have superpowers to transform, to glow up, and, and be this incredible being that folks didn't even see coming, And even when you're not able to make those energy shifts in situations and pivot them the way you want them to, how about your superpower is you're able to walk away unbothered? And can I tell you how much your unbothered state is going to piss off the right ones? Sometimes that's the most fun. See, this podcast is going to be chock full of things that maybe you haven't heard before. But even more importantly, you're going to hear some things you did hear before but we cannot be reminded of some of the stuff enough. As a coach, I podcast almost like free coaching content. You know, like those free little, you know, pizza rolls in the supermarket and and you pick one up and eat it and they hoping you go to the freezer section and buy the whole bucket. Yeah, like that. I have a real passion and compassion for people who are trying to make powerful changes in their lives, big or small. And I don't want finances or some other obstacle to be the reason why ladies and hey, even some of the men can't reach out for some of this love, the support, the information, and sometimes the smoke that I'm throwing out there. You can catch this content from the comfort of your home. I don't even have to know you're here. Sis, take what you need and do what you need with it. So is this podcast for you? Let's go ahead and answer the question. Whether you're carrying the humongous weight of fighting a generational curse in your family, or if you're here because you're ready to stop attracting every buck tooth bum in the neighborhood who wants your phone number, and you don't understand why that's what you're attracting. Because the truth is, once again, if the issue is big or small, the cure is the same. And that's a series of interventions with yourself. So what can you expect from the podcast? Okay. First, you can expect transparent conversations of my own interventions, ones I've had with myself in the past, ones I'm having with myself in the present right now, and ones I'm going to need to have with myself in the future. This is a never ending process of growth and glowing up. You'll also hear me unpack challenges that I observe, whether I observe them in my role as a coach or if it's some kind of current event that we can all relate to. Now, we're not going to gossip much, but we're going to lean into the powerful takeaways that feed our collective healing journeys. That's kind of like the heartbeat of this podcast. Now, here's what else you can expect. In a twist, you're going to get a chance to join me and other women, and sometimes men, on a small discussion panel on the topic of your choice, basically the topic from that particular episode. There will be an open invitation at the end of every single episode for you to opt to do that. And these discussion panels, I want ordinary folks with ordinary issues. I'm not looking for think tanks and scholars and and scientists and those who are out there studying this amongst others. I'm looking for real people who are going through real growth and are ready to share ordinary things so we can all have extraordinary breakthroughs. I want my groups to be like a good cocktail girl, the, the right mix of everything. I want folks who agree with me. I want folks who disagree with me. And I want the people who bring a unique perspective that I didn't even consider when I recorded that particular episode. So if you're still here, 
I highly suggest you start with episode one. And that's titled, You're an Incubator, What You Cooking? Because I believe that episode does a great job of beginning to unroll my philosophy on the role that you play in the things you perceive and I perceive as happening to us and originating from outside of us, because that's not the full story. I'm going to share that I spent a decade healing my relationship with my mother, but that decade was also a very powerful decade of interventions that transformed a ton of issues in my life, big and small. I would not be experiencing the incredible amounts of joy, peace, gratitude that I experience today without the scores of interventions that occurred in my life that really changed everything. And really, it kind of feels stingy to keep that to myself. That's why I'm out here sharing the way I share. And we're going to have a good time here. But there was a meme shared on Facebook recently that talks about a space that we're going to visit often in this podcast. And the meme goes like this. Healing also means taking an honest look at the role you played in your own suffering. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if that's a place you're afraid to visit, like if that's the haunted house in your life, nobody will notice if you stand up now, put up that church finger and go ahead and exit and never return. But guess what? For the rest of you who are still sitting in your seat and ready to take this journey, we're going to go ahead and live and learn together. You ready? Well, that's it for today. And before I sign off, I want to let you know you can always find me online at hawabon.com. H-A-W-A-B-O-N-D dot com. That's my first name and my last name. I always make it easy. Stop on over because that will also be the place where you will leave feedback on the episodes and you can opt in for an opportunity to participate on one of those discussion panels. Glad you were here today. See you next time.